Hello turkeys. This is a heritage breed called Artisan Gold. Um, this, they have a kind of uh, iridescent feathers. I don't know if you can see that. So we ordered straight run from a hatchery in Ontario called, well, it's spelt like phrase, but I've been told it's actually pronounced fries. And so we ordered five straight run turkey chicks in April, at the end of April. And this is them now. So uh, hopefully I will get to show you um, how we process the turkeys for Thanksgiving. Well, for any meal. So one of these males uh, will be harvested. I think tomorrow um, we plan on keeping the two females and the biggest male, which is probably going to be this guy. He is the most um, color well, they're all colorful when they want to be, but he puts on kind of the biggest show. Um, but we'll see. Well, one was selected and we have our turkey that is going to be our Thanksgiving turkey. So we are going to show you what we do. Submerge it for 30 seconds. At about 20 seconds, I'm going to check to see how easily the feathers come out. A couple more seconds. Wish I had a scale. So now we'll start plucking. All right, so, yeah, see how easily it's just coming out like nothing. for a second dunk. When I butcher poultry, I like to start with the legs. I bend the foot down, which forces the knee up, and I apply pressure with my knife at the knee joint. The next thing I do in this video anyways, is take the head off. Cut around the muscle and connective tissue, and when everything's pretty well loose, I just apply enough pressure that the bones come apart.
The next thing I try to do is separate the connective tissue between the trachea and esophagus and skin. My goal here is so, is so that once I pull the internal organs out, everything comes out at once. As you can see, I'm working around to try to get it loosened without cutting through either the skin or any of the organs. This large bulge here is called crop. That's where the poultry store much of their food until they are ready to digest it. This crop came out pretty easily. It was easy to separate from the skin and uh, there I go, I punctured it. No need to worry, it just looks a little gross, but it's not, you know, like puncturing the intestines or anything. In there, what you can see is grass and um, cracked corn. <laughs> so here I'll show it to you. It's quite large in this turkey, or I guess in all turkeys. I'm used to, you know, chickens and their crop is not nearly as big uh, for their body size, I mean. So now what I do is I continue separating the connective tissue and I just keep working it around. You don't want to stab down too far because you could end up puncturing other organs in the chest or even uh, the digestive tract. So what I'm doing here is I'm pinching the skin between the legs and I'm being careful not to stab right through so I don't cut open any intestines or other organs. I'm looking for the pelvic bone, so basically where my index finger was is where that bone is, and I just carve around um, as far or as close to the pelvic bone, but around uh, the bottom intestines. I like to cut the tail off. I actually do that on even rabbits when I'm cleaning them. I just find it makes a cleaner uh, way to remove all the organs all at once. Again, just being careful not to push too hard um, and cut something I don't want to cut. I gotta thank my camera woman, my daughter, she did a great job. <laughs> I had to take out a lot of arm shots, but uh, I'll get the hang of it. So again, right there, I was just finding the pelvic bone, and now we scoop them out. And I'm sure you get the gist of this. Now you go back in, here's the heart. Uh, the lungs, you're gonna have to Kind of put your fingers under, they, they're uh, right into the ribs. Uh, there's a lung there. And you go back in as many times as necessary to get all the organs out. And then you have your done bird. <laughs>